Ivar. Who's Ivar again? That sounds important. Oh, wait. That's the person whose kid I killed. Whoops. Okay, now we got a whole bunch of places to go to. Um, I'm supposed to go to the shops and get that thing for him, but I'm gonna do everything except that. <laughs> yeah, what's in the dorms? Palmy? Are they talking about me? Hey, Palmy, can you tell Quill to quiet down in the bedroom already? We know he gets a lot of action, but he doesn't need to rub it in our faces. <laughs> He's probably going, oh, I'm having so much fun and everyone isn't, ah. Uh. What? Oh, I just sped past that. I didn't know that was a mission. Oh, I gotta be doing stuff for people. What are you two doing? This might sound crazy, but I swear the core statue in my room sometimes cries out ink. Oh, do I need to do I need to do anything about that? Who are you? I know not all priests are witch hunters and vice versa, but still, why would anyone join the church otherwise? I mean, how else can priests or nuns make enough money to get by? Exorcisms. What am I supposed to be getting? Welcome. The mystery is no one actually knows what this book is about. <coughs> totally not safe for work. What was I supposed to be getting again? I haven't played this in a bit. I forgot. Two bottles of rune ink. Alright. Neat. Buying stuff at a visual novel. Hehehe. <laughs> Eight. Fish? There's fishing in this visual novel? Alright, you know what? That person who needs cocoa powder is just gonna have to wait. I have to be nosy for all these people here. Dad found me a suitor this summer. Lord Fandral. Ew. I know him. I'm sorry, Nat. Ha, ah, duties of a firstborn, I suppose. Think of it this way. At least you're not matched with Quill. What would be wrong with that? <laughs> True. I pity whoever has to soul bond with him. I know, right? That man has no shame. I heard his cousin might take his place as heir. Uh-oh. I doubt his father would let that happen. Learned a new conversation topic. Oh, I get those by being nosy. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe they let that new guy in. His eyes are golden. He's definitely bad news. Oh, golden eye's my favorite. Where is this golden-eyed chap? Oh, or, or is that that guy that, uh, that I'm paired with? In fact, where is he? Is that a well? An old dried up well. Oh, Pal Palmy, Palmier, that's my name. <laughs> they call me Palmy. <laughs> Ooh. Before you can go any further, a nun stops you in your tracks. Ah, where do you think you're going? Village visits are a privilege, not a right. Aw, oh, man. Okay. The nun dragged you back to campus. She kept ranting on how students are only allowed to enter the village on the weekends. Uh, okay. I am quite confused. Who are you? Oh my god. Did you see Arsham just now? Is it me or did he get even more handsome? Yeah, I'm more of a Thane fan myself. What about Palmier? Are there any Palmier fans? Hey, Palmier, taken any hunting quests around town lately? I killed two witches over the summer. Maybe I can finally catch up to your record. Oh, okay. How was your summer in Theode? Not bad, but not great either. Way too many fairies around. Fairies? Well, it's their domain, so... There's fairies? What are you doing? I tried sneaking out the gates, but no luck. Wish they would let us roam to the village as we please. I mean, we're all adults here. <laughs> what are you guys doing? A crowd of guys seems to be talking about Arsham. Did you see the amount of girls swarming Arsham? Yeah, what's so good about that guy anyway? Beats me, he's just some bastard who got lucky since his- Oh, hey, what? Don't say that about his mom. Of a mother, married rich. I know, right? Wouldn't be surprised if his stepfather fluffed him too. Ah, oh, how awful. How dare you talk about my ex-boyfriend that way. Oh, I don't want to talk about Arsham's mom. I don't want to... Ah, oh, don't do that. Oh, Cor. Oh, Cor. 
Is Kor like a deity in this place, I think? What's wrong? I sent a love letter to Headmaster Williams' office yesterday. You what? Why would you do that? The man's ancient. She just has very refined taste. It was a dare, okay? Do you think he read it already? Well, you could sneak in and find out. Heard he's out of town for a few days. Hmm. What? What is this quest? No, what, what quest is that? My sister! Fia! Oh, hey sis. Skipping class again? No. Man, seems like this world's Palmier isn't much of a role model. I should change that. What about you? Herbology class. Gotta name 20 plants around campus. Do you think this leaf is a night shoot or a fundaceous? I have no idea what you just said. Um, night shoot, probably. Hmm, herbology was never your strong point. No, it's not. Also, Pia. Oh, do I not? Why can I not say these? Why can I not? Okay, fine. Never mind. You don't know any interesting topics to ask her about. Maybe you should have explored the campus much m more. Be quiet. Hmm? You're acting weird, Palmy. Even more than usual. Anyway, I need to continue class. See you at dinner? Yeah, later. I want to talk to my sister. Alright, I'm kind of eager to see where the story goes. What's up, dude? Evening. I've been waiting for you. Thank you for the ink. Here's your share. My... share? You'll need it to draw protection rune for tonight. Protection runes? Privacy is a luxury, even within our dreams. Draw this rune on yourself unless you want witches to visit your dreams tonight. What if, what if I want that? Are they hot witches? Just copy what I've drawn here. Also, never ever draw on your thumb. Never draw on your thumb. Why? Rune corruption. Overuse of runes can decay the hand. Losing any other digit is fine, as long as you have at least one digit plus your thumb. Ooh. Without your thumb, however, well, things are significantly harder. Quill handed you a dipping pen and some ink. You mimic the symbol on his ring finger to the same digit on your hand. Good. Runes are always stronger when you draw them yourself. Well, I'm off now. I have a strapping young man tied to my bedpost, and I'll be sure to put his innocence to good use. Oh, you cad, you. Too much information, dude! <laughs> While Quill walks away, you notice that you smudged your rune. Aw, oh, man. Oh, crap. Well, it's not like that matters, right? It, it totally matters, doesn't it? I guess I should head back to my room and rest. It's been a tiring day. Where was my room again? Oh, no. Let's go to this dark, shadowy place, see if we can find some shenanigans here. The living room is empty, so you head back inside. Uh, is it down? Oh, so spooky. What about this dark room here? Ah! You're really cool looking. Yeah! Ah! For the love of Kor, you scared me, man. You can see that white thing, right? <laughs> Ms. Vilkov? Of course. What are you talking about? Oh, wait, that's a person? I mean, never mind. What are you two doing here? Hey, isn't she a vampire? Stalking prey. P prey? Mice, you know, like I told you before, for blood. Kinda yucky, I know. But what can you do? It's degrading, isn't it? Two vampires having to rely on vermin. But alas, the academy isn't so accommodating. More so with blood prices rising higher still. Speaking of vermin, however, why are you here, Miss Baker? This is a restricted area, and I don't recall hosting any night combat lessons today. So why are you skulking around? Uh, um, I want to help? Do I? Help? Yeah, Thane. I know you're struggling with this whole blood thing, so I... Uh... <laughs> I was gonna help look for mice. 
No, I, I don't want to give him mine. A vial of blood? Do I have a vial of blood? I don't think so. Oh, really? Thanks, man. Where is it? Oh, um, I must have left it in my room. I'll, uh, I'll, uh, go give it to you tomorrow, okay? Oh, okay, thanks. Guess I can sleep in early tonight, huh, Miss Vilkov? I suppose. I'll continue my shift patrolling the grounds. Good night, you two. Cool. Whew. Honestly, you saved me a lot of trouble, Palmy. A vial of blood should last me a week. Haha, <laughs> yeah, no problem, bud. Dang, now I feel obligated to help. Where am I gonna find a vial of blood? I'm sure you can find that. Maybe. After walking along with Thane, he eventually led you to your room for some much-needed rest. Is my super-hot roommate still in there? Huh? Uh-oh. Where am I? Ivar? I wondered who's the ignorant fool that forgot their room tonight. I was not ready. I got jump scared by abs. Are you the witch? Because thank you for invading my dream. What if what if I want that? Are they hot witches? I like it here. All right, got to stop getting distracted right now. <coughs> oh wait, Ivar? Ivar. Who's Ivar again? That sounds important. Oh wait, that's the person whose kid I killed. Whoops. Oh, I guess I guess he won't be wanting to flirt very much since I murdered his daughter. How lucky am I to be blessed by the presence of my daughter's murderer. Murderer? Wait, are you? The Witch of Beauty. No kidding! Ivar, the misandrist. Does that mean you don't like men or that you don't like humans? Ah. <sighs> My infamous nom de plume. I've always despised that name. Look, I don't want any trouble, okay? I didn't kill your daughter, I swear. I mean, technically. I know. You just happen to bore the same features as the one who did. Question. Do you know how your doppelganger became in their current state? The real story, and not the one that Inkwell... Debachi. Told you? What? Would you like to find out? Oh. Oh dear. Two male figures with flower heads carry the groom from your dreams. The cheating husband-to-be. Those are some cool-looking henchmen. You only heard Quill's side of the story. Perhaps this witness shall shed a better light onto the scene. Though I'm afraid you won't be getting much honesty from his mouth. Hey. Cool. No, please, I don't want to be super cool looking with roses coming out of my eyes. No! Ah. Ah. Sounds of roses growing through your- oh. Oh, yeah, because Ivar, like, turned a bunch of people into flowers. That's, like, the coolest way to really mess up somebody's existence. The flowers grew and grew from every part of the man's head until a full bouquet placed it whole. Wow. You would find it beautiful, if not for the blood. But thankfully, there are other ways around that. Ivar reached out to the man's new... head, and plucked out a single red rose. In an instant, fresh blood starts oozing from the stem. It, like, plucked out the dude's eye or something. Here. What is that? A welcoming gift. Ironic, isn't it? How my magic turns the most hideous souls into the most alluring flowers. Eh, that's like his eyeball, isn't it? Eh, get it off of me. Ah, I hit my mic. Well, actually, I don't think you should be flinging any gifts from this guy. Beautiful. I must say, you are quite the beauty. Cut the small talk. What do you want? What any calm and reasonable father wants. The head of my daughter's murderer served to me on a silver platter. Revenge? Yes, but not at you. You're just a tourist. Someone blinded by the charm of those bewitching sinners. That's 
why it's called that. Aren't you the bewitching ones? Is is this all a lie and the, the higher-ups are actually corrupt and the witches are actually, like, innocent? In looks, perhaps, but nothing else. We're quite innocent. A guy's head just fluffing exploded in front of me. I'm pretty sure you're the villain here. Even if he was the one who broke my daughter's heart. Even after he drove her against me and didn't even have the decency to honor her loyalty. There's always another side to things, Palmier. Question is, are you curious enough to pursue them? Tell me, are you the type who would rather hide in ignorant bliss, or the type to embrace the truth no matter how ugly it may be? Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I kind of do like to be tenacious and find the truth. I'd like to know the whole picture. A wise choice. An often disappointing choice, but a wise one nonetheless. Why did you ask me that? To see how you'd act. That rose holds the key to your truth, the real cause of your doppelganger's state. Crush it, and you'll find your answers. What is this really, this rose? A piece of the man's brain, of course. Ew! It's in my hair, it's in my hair! Of course, he says it like you're the odd one here. And how am I sure what I see will be the truth and not another lie? If there's anything I cherish more than my daughter's, it's my integrity. I don't lie, child. I am cruel, unapologetic, and if it pleases me, I will kill, maim, and torture you along with all you care about. But I swear I will never ever lie to you. Can you say the same of your new acquaintance in blue? Why are you telling me all this? Because I want to give you a choice. Like I said, I am a calm and reasonable man. You know nothing of this world, nothing other than what those liars fed you. It's only fair I give you the full picture, or at least the opportunity to. Though, if that won't stop you from hunting down my kindred spirits, then so be it. What, so your affection isn't spread to other grand witches? Lucky for you, we witches prefer to work alone. An underappreciated blessing in this world. Now, I've said what I needed to say. So, I don't see why we must tolerate each other's company for much longer. I mean, I can think of a couple reasons why we could tolerate each other's company. <laughs> you're kicking me out? For now. If you're looking for my kindred, I suggest you start with the Witch of Greed. Maza's show is always a sight to behold at this time of year. Maza? Uh, okay. Uh. Uh, who is Maza? Was it just a dream? Huh. There better not be a brain flower in my- ah! Brain flower! Mailed. Oh, hello, my sexy roommate. Um, Palmier? Ah, yeah, Liol. What's up? A friend of yours is waiting for you by the door. He's reminding you to join him for breakfast in the mess hall. Oh, okay. I'll be out in a minute. Uh, care to join us? Oh, no, I... I don't do well with crowds. Oh. Anyway, I talked with the administrators. Said they can't do anything about the room situation. But I promise I'll give you space. If you need the bathroom, need to change in the room or anything, I'll, uh, I'll go hide under the bed covers. Oh. You won't notice I'm here. Right, um, thanks. Well, then, bye. Oh, Palmy, darling, wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Come now, I'm absolutely famished. Hold on, I'm getting changed. I had a weird dream about a brain flower. Oh, I can help with that. No, don't come in here, you nympho. <laughs> you put the rose inside your writing desk drawer. I'll sort that out later. Ooh. Oh no, my, my hot ex. 
As you approach Arshim and Thane, you saw another student chatting up with Arshim. Arshim, thank you again for your help yesterday. If there's anything I can do to repay you... Nonsense, Ajax. I was only helping out a friend in need. Still, if there's anything I can do, anything at all... Well, there is something. Your father is in the ministry, isn't he? Wouldn't you be so kind to pass this along to him? A letter? What is it about? Just a business proposal I have in mind. I doubt that he would humor the ideas of an undergraduate, but who knows? Maybe a good word from you can convince him otherwise. Oh, of course. I'll make sure he reads it. Don't worry. The young man scurried along to his own group of friends. What are you planning, Arsham? This better not involve me! What's with the letter? Just a suggestion I have. Taking me under his wing after my graduation. You? Come on, you know only nobles are hired into the ministry. Unless... Oh, you did a thing, didn't you? What did you use this time? Blackmail? A curse rune? Don't be rude, Thane. You know blackmail is far too flimsy for my taste. Poor Saab. You could have not used his son, of all people. I can't be blamed for his own naivety. What did you do, Arsham? Pomier, you're late. Why? Uh... 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 Why can't I ask Thane? He saw me. I don't know. I just am. Accept things for as they are. You... Quill cut you off before you could utter another word. Palmy must have been captivated by her new roommate. Have you seen that guy? You stay away from uh, Lial. He is a sweet baby. He's packing seven inches at least. Yes, you're you're right. His hair is 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 quite long, at least seven inches. Quill, stop. Hmm, that's a stretch. That's what I'm hoping for. Stop! <laughs> Stop being so horny right now. You're gonna land us all in horny jail. Quill started to obscenely deep throat a sausage, moaning a bit as he does so. I can't go any the. I can't go anywhere with you, Quill. Really, Quill? Right in front of my salad? Yeah. Even Palmier is bringing up old memes. <laughs> By the way, where is that hunk of man? In our room. He said he didn't like crowds. Attention. Hmm? It's attention he doesn't like. Hard to eat peacefully with everyone gawking at you. You've seen his eyes. Unless I'm the only one who actually took the time to get to know our newcomers. The first years basically cower behind their desk from the mere sight of him. Oh, right. They were golden, weren't they? What does this mean? Golden? Like Ivar's. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What does this mean? If it means I have to hurt my friend, I will not do that. Pretty. Golden eyes. Cool. What? Are you saying what I think you're saying? You think that that's one of his kids? Do you know any other being who has golden eyes like his? None whatsoever, though that would explain why I find him so interesting. Pink and blue eyes for his daughters, gold for his sons. Doesn't he kill his sons? I mean, some even claims he eats them. So does legend say. Only his daughters inherit his magic. I believe his sons tend his gardens. You mean, as fertilizer? Huh. Only if they're lucky. Rumor has it that he uses them as his puppets. Oh. Yeah, those guys. Wait, does that mean those flower servants were his sons? Oh, or does miss... miss... The, 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 that one word mean he doesn't like men? Ooh. So, you're saying this new guy's an escapee? Does he not keep track? I mean, how many children can one guy have? Reaching the hundreds, his promiscuity rivals mine. Eh. Honestly, Quill, that says a lot more about you than him. Anything to add, Palmy? Huh? You're his roommate. 
He is a sweet baby, and you will not touch him. No one will touch him. Especially you, Quill. You stay away. He is sweet. He seems sweet. There's this innocent look in his eyes. Gullible? Huh? If he's impressionable, he'd make a good addition to our quartet. We need more bronze than brains in our group. You and Quill are increasingly difficult as of late. Hey. Meaning that Daddy Dom wants a new sub to bend to his will. <laughs> I appreciate control and obedience. Nothing wrong with that. Besides, he needs someone. I know what that feels like. Ostracized for your looks. Hmm? Uh. Arsham's eyes. Purple eyes are exclusive to fairies and forest spirits. Oh. Yeah, his eyes are very pretty. His mom's a human, but he's a literal bastard, so the man has daddy issues. Aww. Now be tactful and pause a moment before looking back up. Don't look directly into his eyes, you mean? Oh, by the way, has anyone seen that request about a cat? Cat? Someone didn't obey school protocol and brought their pet with them. Yep, that one. Heard they're giving out a big reward for anyone able to find the little dude. Interested? I've no time to play pest control. I might do it, just so I can shove the thing up to Fia's face. Fia's allergic to cats. Exactly. You are cruel and evil, Quill. Leave my sister alone. Hmm. Well, I bet I can get it before all of you can. Oh. And what are you offering? Huh? It's a bet. You don't expect us to follow a wager without any rewards, do you? Well, what do you want? Don't ask him that! Don't ask your ex what he wants! Oh, I don't like that smile. Not one bit. Favors. Victor gets to order everyone else for any favor of their choosing. Any? Besides sexual ones, of course. <laughs> Stop it, Quill. What the heck? I'm free until one. Count me in. Pass. No booty, no duty. He's gonna get that printed in, in old English font across his chest. No booty, no duty. <laughs> and you, Palmier? Care to put your money where your mouth is? Shut up, Quill. Don't say a word. Because if I don't play, you won't, right? No. But I'm sure I can find ways to persuade you to join us, willingly or not. Hmm. <clears throat> Fine, I'll play. Just so I can tell you to get off my back. Then it's settled. And so begins our search for the elusive cat. Aren't we supposed to be looking for, I don't know, witches? Or learning the truth about the what happened back there? Why my doppelganger is passed out? And also, my mom made food! I think I saw a cat chasing Fia just now. She didn't look too happy about it. Fia! Fia now! Oh shoot, we found him already! Golly! Get away from my sister! Achoo! Achoo! Get away from me! Stay back, you fluffy white thing! Fia! You tried snatching the cat into your arms, but it ran away. Achoo! Who brought a fluffing cat here? What part of no pets don't they understand? Here. You handed Fia a napkin from your pocket. You used to have one on you at all times when Fia was alive. I guess this palmier is the same. Thanks. A first year didn't get the memo. I'm trying to catch it before the teachers find out. You? Why? Bet with the boys. It's stupid. Hmm. Is Quill in on the bet too? Uh, nah. No, he's not. <laughs> Oh, well, good luck then. Ah, my sister! Wait, what would you do if I said yes? Yes? Alright. I will lie to my sister. I will lie to her, and she will help me find this cat. Then I'll help. What? Why? So he'll lose, duh. Miss Edna just taught us some homely remedies and potions. One of them is cat food. I still have some leftover ingredients, but I'll need a fish to make it. If I get you some fish, would you make it for me? Yeah, wait, wait, never mind. I have class soon, so I can't. Dang it! But here, you should be able to make your own with these. 
Fia handed you a jar of what looked to be an eel and some ham. If you forgot how to make it, it's made from ham, fish, and eel. Grind it up together and mix with water to make it into a pâté. Hmm. I'm sure Miss Edna wouldn't mind you using the cauldrons in her class for a bit. Right. Where is her class again? Where else? West Wing, second floor. Achoo! Achoo! Ugh, I better go wash my face. Later, Palmy. Oh, I know what seasonal allergies are like. Uh, all right, what are we doing? Fish? Fish, fish? Get the fish? Where is the fish? Do you have fish? Need something, kid? I need a fish. Who are you supposed to be? Name's Pike. That's the name of a fish. I'm a fisherman from Lenar. The fish aren't biting there, so I thought I'd head up here. Lenar? Small island, sell from here. I've seen some of you kids waltzing around there on the weekends. We got some nice ham. Better than anywhere else. Hmm. I see. So, uh, are the fish biting then? Not bad. Better than in Lenar. Not sure why, though. Usually it's flocking this season. Maybe it's because of that darn puppeteer scaring even the gosh darn fish away. Puppeteer? Tall, scary thing. Kids love his show, but the guy seems a bit off to me. Hmm? But I guess you kids would say the same about me. You're the first kid here who dared to even look me in the eye. <laughs> you fish kid? A little bit. My uncle used to take me on a fishing trip or two. Really? Care to try? Oh, okay. Click when the ball is closest to the center. Ah! That goes really fast! Reeled it in a bit quick there. My son used to do the same. Oh, your son's a fisherman too? He might have been. A witch killed him when he was ten. Oh. Uh, oh. Don't worry. It's been 15 years now, so don't give me that face. Anyways, you can keep the rod if you want. I have a spare. I could use the company. Fishing is better with company. Okay, thanks. I did a fish. Do we fish? I need to get bait. Hiya! I saw bait somewhere. Welcome. Welcome. Wait a minute. That beef had a question Welcome. mark. Local meat? What kind of meat is it? Again, we don't know. Okay. Well, nuts. Dang it. This is really fast. Uh, alright. Never mind. No, no, no. Not doing that. Not doing that. Can I just buy a fish? Yo, got any fish? Welcome. Dang it! Alright, went back. How about I, I buy this? That's a fish. Pretty! Anything I can help you with, dearie? Oh, uh, Ms. Edna? Please, I told you, we're long past that. Call me Poppy. Ah, right. Poppy, hi. Can I use the room? I need to, uh, make something. Potions? Sweets? I remember how you love making sweets. Well, until recently, that is. But yes, feel free to use the room, dear. Just remember to clean up and leave the room by seven. I have astrology and divinations until midnight. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, and up, uh, Poppy? Yes? How do I make potions again? Oh, sweetie, I wish you would stop it with the drugs. You were doing so well. I know your breakup with Arsham took a toll on you, but still... What? Wait, what? Wasn't I the one who broke up with him? <gasps> what? All you need are on the shelves. Mortars, cauldrons, everything. Oh, and I know it's not my place, but do take care of yourself. I hate to see you young folk waste your life away. I'm just making some cat food, lady. I'm not making hardcore druggeroos. Uh, I, I, I have to cook. 
Seems like I can craft stuff here. Yes, let's make some cat food. Where is the cat food? Oh, oh yeah, gifts. Bribery. A map with doodles on it. Country factions, perhaps. Looks like someone isn't too happy about the vampire monarchy. Hmm. Oh yeah, we still gotta get a vial of blood from my buddy. Made, sir. <coughs> Jeez. Uh. Hands off the glass now. What? Oh, it's you. That's not any better. Uh, I could say, "Do I know you?" I could say, "What are you?" Or I should say, "Ah!" Just continue screaming. Just never stop screaming. Do I know you? <laughs> ah, so it's one of those days, I see. Killed too many brain cells, did you? Ah! I wouldn't be surprised if you don't even know your own name. But, very well, since you're in no state to recall anything, then for the eleventh time... I'm Mr. Kepler. I'm the librarian here. When in my domain, please refrain from chatter, eating, drinking, and most importantly... <laughs> ah! No touching the glass cases. Oh, and borrowing any books to your rooms or class is strictly prohibited. Campus policy. If you can't afford any school books, then please consult with the administrators. Any questions? Why did you say... 11th? Because ever since I first met you, I had to reintroduce myself eleven times now, thanks to that destructive habit of yours. Aww. Like seriously, have you never heard of Dare? Honestly, why don't you just reconcile with Asham? You are much more tolerable then. Wait, what? Your drinking and substance abuse. You never did it when Asham was with you. You were the perfect power couple. Perfect height difference, both easy on the eyes, the black hair and blonde cliché. I was sure a soul bond was just around the corner. But no. What a waste. You hear writing fan fictions about us, dude? Um, why are you always this interested in the students' business? Of course. Who needs soap operas and romance novels when you're surrounded with the teenage angst and drama? Have you heard Melody is dating both Ymir and Sergen? Quite scandalous. I'm Team Ymir myself, though Sergen X Ymir would be. <clears throat> he really is writing fan fictions about the students. The man goes on a long tangent about the students' love lives. Ah, uh, I feel I should retreat while I can. You slowly walked away from the man and went on your way. Cool, but also, why are you scare me like that? Ugh. Where's that darn cat? Ah, there you are. Oh, he found the cat. Oh. You see Leal stroking the cat by his feet. The cat seems happy enough, purring in his arms. Leal? P Palmier, what are you doing here? You can't tell which is more skittish, Leal or the cat. Both look like they're about to jump out of their skin. Wait, no, don't run. I brought treats. For the cat, I mean, not you. You are the treat. The cat slowly approached you, nibbling at the pungent treat. You grab them with your jacket and it snuggled right into your arms. Oh, Got you. Your owner's worried sick, you know that? Oh, he already has an owner? Yeah, they've been looking all over for him. Why, did you want to keep him? I did. He... he doesn't run away. Oh. Are the others treating you alright? Is anyone bullying you, sweet baby? I'll get them. I wouldn't know. They all seem to be afraid of me. I understand why, but I'm not my father. Speaking of, is Ivar the Misandrist really your father? Leal gives a small, reluctant nod. Oh, Mr. Arsham told me to think of him as just a sperm donor, but still, 
blood doesn't lie. You talked to Arsham? Yes, he's nice. He gave me his old school books to use since the librarian wouldn't let me take any. Oh. Oh, uh, not because of who I am, but because he seems a bit out of it. That librarian, I mean. Yeah, he scared the shirt off of me. Yep, sounds about right. Do you mind me asking how you escaped? From your father, I mean. I do mind, actually. I'm sorry, Pomier, ma'am, but with all due respect, I don't know you. Well, you can call me just Pomier, for one. We're roommates. Can't we get along and be friends? You offer him your hand, but he just stares at it before running away without a word. No! Jeez, he really is like a cat. Maybe I should make some, some fish treats for him. You immediately went to find the cat's owner. She's really grateful for your help. You can't wait to rub it in Arsham's face. <laughs> Guess who found the cat? Oh, you did it? Nice. I thought Arsham did. No, apparently cats and I don't get along. That fluffy monstrosity kept hissing at me. Yep, so that means you two have to do what I say. Fine, fine. What are your orders, my liege? Remember, it's just one favor each, though. One. I know. I can use it for whatever I want, right? No exceptions? Well, we didn't specify a timeline, so sure. Then I'm going to keep my favors until I need them. What? So you're just gonna hang them over our heads? I don't want to waste it. A wise choice. I would have done the same. Oh no! What? Oh no! Wait, was that... Was that a good moan or a bad moan? Is my sister in danger or do I need to smack Quill? Before you can add more, a very enthusiastic moan cuts your sentence short. What was that? Another freshman Quill's banging. And by the sounds of it, I guess he's topped for once. Thought he liked getting pegged. Oi, I really didn't need to know all of that. Neither do we, but Quill isn't exactly private about these things. To be honest, I've been planning to mix his drink with a potent dose of boner be gone. I could use the six months of quiet time. <laughs> um, no, that would be mean to do that. And you haven't because? Too time consuming to brew for a mere prank. Well, I have time. Can you teach me how to make it? Oh? <laughs> Trying to settle things in your own hands? Someone has to. And who better than you? It would be my pleasure, Palmy. Oh, we oh, you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't mess with the man's anatomy. It's quite a complicated potion, but the steps are no different from cooking. You now have learnt the potion boner be gone. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Layal, you here? Good, he's not in. Oh yeah, we gotta talk to that rose. You opened the drawer and fiddled with the rose Avar gave you. Mm, brain rose! It's still bleeding. If what Mr. Dietrich said about these flowers are true, then they can still feel pain, even in this form. Do I really want to find out the truth that badly? Do it! Do it! Do it! Here goes. Blood engulfs your hand. Ooh, how horrifying! As soon as you crush the flower, a new flower blooms, with colors even more vibrant than the rose before. It's beautiful. Sadly, I think you'd disagree, huh? I'm sorry if I hurt you. I don't feel any different, though. Did Ivar... lie? Was his whole thing about not lying actually a lie? Yeah. As soon as you said those words, a sharp pain pierced through your head. You wobbled to your bed and let darkness consume you. Oh no! Backstory! Ooh. Uh-oh. <gasps> okay, maybe that boner be gone is looking pretty good right now. Quill! <gasps> Betrayal! 
Quill, stop! You can't do this! Do what? Can't you see I'm trying to help you, my friend? Let's get that parasite witch off you, hmm? No, stop! You'll kill me! Do you think that low of me? Need I remind you who you're speaking to? I am Quill Inkwell. <gasps> Lay gasp! I guess if you weren't thinking about doing that boner be gone potion, oh, oh, Quill. Quill, lied to me. Uh-oh. As you sit up, strong hands encircle your neck, pinning you back to the bed. You look up and saw Quill with a wild look in his eyes. You found out, didn't you? What? I suppose all you palmiers are this way. No! Far too curious for their own good. Mm. Ah! Ah! What a wonderful way to end a demo, but ah! <gasps> Lay gasp! How dare you? I am shocked. I am appalled. I am betrayed. <gasps> Betrayal! Betrayal! Betrayed me. Well, that was the demo for Bewitching Sinners, and... Oh boy! There's a lot going on here. There's, there's fishing, there's magic, there's vampires, there's fairies, there's betrayal! There will be a link in the description if you would like to try this game yourself or follow the developers. And if you like these sort of games, you can hit the like button, as that is a huge help to my channel, actually. <laughs> and let me know in the comments what you think. Who's your favorite? Do you like Thane the Vampire, who I totally forgot to get blood for? Do you like Arsham, who's probably lying about who broke up with who? Do you like Leal, who has an impeccable... personality? Or do you like Quill, the betrayer? Betrayed me! But anyway, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Take care of yourself, have a great night, and remember, there is always hope.